Telcos need to be involved in the key open source projects to influence their requirements, but how do we ensure that the whole telco community gets involved? Eric, why is open networking so important to Orange? So, as you know, we will develop new services with 5G, uh, with uh, un unexpected uh, requirements for our customers, residential one, business, and so on. So we know that we need to have, let's say, open system to be able to answer these requirements. If we have some closed uh, solution, it will be difficult to innovate. So that's why we need to have some kind of uh, open uh, network also to, uh, to ease newcomers also to use our open platform and so on. So that's why we believe that we need this openness. So we, on openness means, uh, let's say, uh, open API, but also open, open, um, open source code. Why? Because also we need to automate as much as possible. Because we need to deploy a lot of new functions in our network in the future. And there is no way uh, except automation. And to, to, to realize automation, we need open solutions. Now, one of the most prominent open source projects um, of relevance to telcos is ONAP. Um, Orange has been an early supporter of ONAP, a key contributor. What are you doing at the moment? H how have you ad ad advanced the work of ONAP within Orange? It's true that we, we believe in ONAP, so uh, from day one we are involved in the project. So what we are doing, so we are working both at the community level. So we develop, for example, one component, external API and BI to ease the integration with existing BSS, for example. Uh, so we are also involved in the community for various uh, topics on documentation, integration, uh, and so on. And on the other part, we are working very hard with our uh, business units to understand their real requirements and to demonstrate using POC trials that ONAP can answer their requirements. So we have both parts, so community and internally. So we are working also with a large number of partners and uh, service providers to, uh, to progress on that topic. So tell me about the work you've done with the Orange Open Lab ONAP platform. So yes, yeah, so from, from day one, we, we decided also to be active in the community. And be active is uh, not only uh, pushing requirements, uh, but it's also to providing some resources. For example, we can provide physical resources. This is Open Lab and also uh, let human resources. Open Lab is, a, is a, let's say a platform, open platform, open to anyone who can use the ONAP, uh, full ONAP uh, solution, and you can play with that and share the results with others. That's also the beauty of the community. You can try it and you share your experience with others. And I can tell you, we learn a lot with this Open Lab platform that we open to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to everyone. And today we have around 80 users, so uh, maybe half are from Orange, but others from, uh, from vendors, telco, academic, and so on. And it's always good to see what others can do and to share with us. So it's, uh, it's, uh, for us, it's very important to, uh, yes, to be active and to share with others. Which brings me to the point I raised earlier about how do we ensure the whole, the wider telco community can get involved there are certain telcos, the tier ones, who have got the resources and the time to commit. The smaller telcos, maybe, maybe not so. So are, are, are platforms like Open Lab a way where they can look, learn, and still stay relevant within open networking? Yes, it's possible. So uh, we have a lot of discussion with, uh, for example, from tier one operators who don't have, let's say, uh, they believe they don't have the technical skills to contribute. But uh, as I always say, uh, everyone can contribute. First thing, uh, every time you, you detect some problems, let's say on the documentation, yes, you can contribute and improve it. Other part, you can say, I did some tests internally. I discovered some bugs. Please correct it. It's just a simple way to correct some bugs and so on. And after, when you feel more confident, you can say, yes, I can improve the code. For example, for this feature, I know that I need an additional feature for example, for uh, such uh, such component, and you can bring it. And it's a way to, 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 let's say, to jump in the open source community step by step. You are not forced to have, let's say, a lot of developers. I mean, you can also contribute by, uh, by documentation, 
by provide some tests and so on. So I know that a lot of service providers believe they can't contribute because they don't have a, a large number of developers, but you can contribute in other way. And that's how we try also to demonstrate that as a service provider to, 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 to others. So you can start small. You don't have to go in with, with huge resources. There's, there's, no, there's no excuse really. You just get involved in whatever way you can. Exactly. That's, typically, we, uh, we have some discussion with, uh, let's say, a, a big tier one. So the guy told me, yet, yeah, but we don't have the technical... But I, I said, okay, but you are interested by this component, typically in an app. He said, okay, I'm interested by this component, but it's cool. Test it, try it. And you, you know what? They discovered some little bugs and they corrected it. So, okay, it's a way to start small. And after, when you feel maybe more confident, maybe this guy will uh, bring a new feature for future release. And also, for, I, I, I push also for the documentation because Documentation is key, like for, for example, a, a project like an app, to explain how to use it and so on. And as a service provider, you are, we are an end user. So we know what we need to document to, to, uh, to ease the, the usability for uh, operational guys. So you can also help the community just by documentation. Now, Orange is involved not just in own app, you're involved in a number of open source projects. What are the other main projects that, that, that you are working with and, and how, does it all, how does it all come together as a whole? So yeah, it's true, yeah, we are involved in uh, OpenStack, OpenAV, OpenAV we have one PTL, in ODL also we have one PTL, in, uh, in own app, Acumos, Cloud Foundry. Uh, so we have a global strategy within Orange. It's a global strategy defining where we want to, to go and we have uh, internal governance to, uh, to put the top level priorities. Uh, but after, it's not, let's say, a very detailed uh, definition of our strategy. It's also up to anyone to, uh, to know what he has to do. So, and we, we have also some so meetings like that, where we have a lot of people from Orange coming from uh, various committees, OpenStack, ODL, PNV, ONA, and working together. And as an illustration also, I think OpenLab is a good, once again, sorry, <laughs> it's a good uh, so, uh, uh, project to show that we are using various components. Typically in OpenLab, we are deploying an app on top of an OpenStack solution, reusing OPNAV test frameworks to validate the installation of both uh, OpenStack and on app. So like that, we have, a, let's say, a, a full vision of all these components and try on to see and to, to verify that they can work together. And typically, we are in our open lab, we are also providing an on app platform, but also uh, we we'll provide some Acumos uh, platform on top of it. So we try to have some uh, consistency between, let's say, the technical guys who work together and so on to, to check that everything is, uh, is working fine. Eric, really good to talk to you on Telecom TV. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>